What's up guys and welcome back to my channel So today we're going to take a look at the review of the colorful Battle Axe 36 TTI We're going to take a look at both the dual fan model and the triple fan model Now before we start we're going to take a look at the specs Now current pricing, the difference between the two graphic cards is around 300 ringgit Malaysia or around $70 Now the triple fan model has two 90mm fans along with the middle 80mm fans While the dual fan model only has the two 90mm fans Both also uses a single uh, 8 pin power supply and both has a metal back plate Both models have similar base and boost clocks The base clock is 1410 while the boost clock is 1665 However, we will see later that this is not the case and there's quite a disparity between the um, clocks between these two GPUs. Now the question that we're going to ask in this review is that is the dual model fan good enough? Is there any significant difference between it and the triple fan version especially impacting performance, thermals and things like that? This is especially important if you are looking to use the smaller GPU for maybe a small form factor build. Now looking at the both GPUs, we can see that there is definitely a significant difference in size between the two units. The dual fan uh, unit is definitely a 2 slot GPU with a thickness of only 41cm. The triple fan unit on the other hand is definitely a 2.7 slot card. It also has a thickness of 53cm so yes, it's a lot thicker compared to the dual fan unit. It is also a lot longer with a length of 310mm compared to the very short dual fan unit which has a length of only around 253mm. Um, the weight is also significantly heavier on the triple fan model. Also, another difference between the two GPU is the heat pipe design. The triple fan unit has a 3 copper heat pipe design compared to the 2 heat pipe design of the dual fan unit which will definitely affect thermals. But before we go on to thermals and performance, uh, let's see the sound test first. Alright, that's the end of the sound test. So in my opinion, if you are looking at around 50% fan speed or 60% fan speed, I would say that uh, the triple fan unit is slightly better compared to the dual fan unit. However, when we go above something like 75% fan speed or 80%, I would say it actually sounds the same. Now I think this is partly due to the 80 uh, millimeter fan in the middle of the triple fan unit. I think that smaller fan running at a higher RPM causes more wind noise and more turbulence compared to larger fans running at slower RPM. So I think that um, it would be better if they have just used 3 90mm fans instead of using the middle 80mm fans. However, at 100% full tilt, fan for both, both is very loud and for me it's quite unacceptable uh, as far as the noise is concerned. However, the dual fan unit makes a very weird rattling noise. I'm not sure if it's a defect on my unit, but my unit is actually it's only around one or two weeks old. So I'm not sure why, but it causes a bit of a rattling noise. So I'm not sure if it's that, uh, that is a design defect or my unit is defective. But I'm just throwing it out for prospective buyers, something to look out for. Now onto the thermals, you can see that we were looking at the triple fan unit by the way. You can see that the sound is around 60 decibel as far as loudness is concerned and the temperature is around 65C which is very well controlled for this GPU. The fan is also around 65% so it's not very loud. The core clock is also very good at around 18,000 MHz as far as core clock is concerned. So it's giving you a very good noise um, value. It's also giving you a very good temperature controls and the clocks are also maintaining at a decent uh, frequency. Keep in mind this is all stock settings. Now looking at the dual fan unit, it's not performing as good as the triple fan unit. Um, there's actually quite a significant difference. The temperature is a lot higher at around 79C to 80C while, and while the fan speed is also a lot louder at 80%. 
Um, also, if you see the core clocks is uh, hovering around 1690 or 7, 1700 MHz, so it's significantly lower, although in real world the performance, there's not much performance difference between them, but there we are leaving some performance on the table because of the poor thermal performance of this GPU. Also keep in mind this is an open case scenario, if you're using a, like a small four factor case, I think the thermal performance would definitely be worse. Now I know the prospective buyer is going to scream and say, Hey bro, you should undervolt the graphic card. Yes, yes, I know. So we are going to go to try and undervolt the GPU and see the results right now. So we're back with the dual fan unit. Uh, right now I'm undervolting the GPU. So I'm uh, lowering the voltage to around 900 millivolt um, in MSI Afterburner. But as you can see that the thermal performance is still similar the also the megahertz is also similar so i think this is because we must understand this is actually a, a 200 watt tdp gpu this ain't no 1060 with a 125 watt tdp so to put into perspective 200 watt is a lot of wattage going through a gpu it's slightly lower than the last generation 2080 super which is a 200 220 watt tdp so i think when you are approaching a 200 watt tdp graphic card we must understand that the capacity of the heat sink and the fans for a dual slot dual fan design is just not adequate so which one is more worth it as everything else on this channel it usually comes down to the price now I would say that if the price between the two fan and the triple fan unit is around maybe around 50 to 70 dollars I would say that you should just pony up and get the triple fan version because simply because for me for 50 bucks 70 bucks to get a much more quieter experience I think it is well worth it that is in my opinion but if the difference between the dual fan and the triple fan unit is a lot let's say around 100 dollars or 150 dollars Maybe you can just save some money and just get the dual fan unit Because at the end of the day, a 3060 Ti is still a 3060 Ti No matter which model, dual fan or triple fan, the performance will be very similar Don't bother chasing performance as far as uh, the GPU is concerned Most 3060 Ti will perform the same You're paying more because you want a more quieter, silent experience Or maybe you want more feature pack like RGB or things like that That is why you're paying more for a graphic card um, don't pay for performance. If you have money, uh, maybe you can go for a 3070 or 3070 Ti if you want more performance instead of buying a higher end model 3060 Ti. However, for some people like me, I am a bit picky about noise and I would gladly pay a bit extra for the better acoustic and the better heat control. Um, in fact, um, I recently bought a 3060 Ti Tough Edition because I wanted um, a more quieter experience and I will do a future video comparing this Tough unit compared to the colorful triple slot uh, triple fan 3060 Ti which I reviewed today so subscribe if you would like to see that video anyway as usual thank you for watching this video um, do try to support me by leaving a like and leaving me a subscribe that helps me a lot I always appreciate it um, otherwise, see you guys next time. Ciao.